We have inflation data coming up in just a few minutes. We want to focus on wages. Another well-known company is raising them. Contessa Brewer joins us more uh, with more on that story right now. Contessa, what can you tell us? Well, so Becky, from the folks who work behind the front desk here at the new Hard Rock Hotel in Midtown Manhattan to the housekeepers who clean the rooms, bigger paychecks are coming. Hard Rock International is ready to spend more than $100 million on wage hikes. The company broke the news to more than 10,000 employees, and we're not talking dollar or two an hour increases, but as much as doubling hourly wages in some cases. For instance, in Florida, employees will see eight to $11 more than the state's minimum wage. You're seeing right now the news and the reaction that the employees gave when they got the news about the pay wages. This means some workers might actually double their salary. Here's Jim Allen. I looked at it that let's be the leader, let's be the head of the curve um, in order to make people feel appreciated. And hopefully in exchange, and I've joked with this with the employees, we, we're doing employee appreciation days at all the locations. We only ask one thing in return, just be the best you can be to your coworkers and to our guests. And we're betting that that formula will work. Um, I personally believe it will. Allen says the real pinch points in hiring have already eased, but there are 1,600 open jobs at Hard Rock across the nation. And the wage increases apply to those new hires, too. Here in New York City, Hard Rock and others are hoping to land a casino gaming license. And, of course, guys, being generous uh, and being a generous employer certainly won't hurt their chances. Yeah, Contessa, I have a couple questions. I guess first, what happens to their competitors in the entertainment industry, in the travel and leisure industry? Do they have to follow suit? Because usually what you see when a Walmart or a Target raises rates, uh, raises wages, everybody else has to follow just to compete. And I guess, second of all, what's the strong dollar mean for Hard Rock's international business? Okay, great questions. First of all, what we saw here in New York City is when they opened, they hired at a premium wage. They wanted to get the best people in and do this the right way. So they had already taken those increased wages and offered them right off the bat when this new hotel opened in Midtown. Uh, what we've seen is that the unions have negotiated wages, say, in Atlantic City. Hard Rock says these wage increases will apply to those people who, the non-tipped employees, even if they are represented by a union. So they're getting rate increases even if the union has negotiated their wages. Does that put pressure? Yeah. If talent is in short supply, it puts pressure on MGM and Caesars to come up with a plan there. All right, on the currency situation. What it means is that they're not getting as many European travelers coming to the United States. And Jim Allen told me it's super important. That's a crucial uh, cohort here in the United States. But even more important, guys, is that the Russian invasion in Ukraine has cooled travel. He says that the cafe business in Europe has been really suffering this summer. It has not seen the kind of travel rates that it would have expected. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.